Today at the abandoned train tracks, we found sacrificed and dumped animals for Voodoo Santeria. This thing is so hard and crispy, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Just so everyone knows, these are bones from animals being dumped here. This is the Santeria Voodoo that we're talking about. I found a skull. What? There's a skull back here, yep. Oh. Oh my gosh. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today's video is a really sad and crazy one. Today at the abandoned train tracks, we found sacrificed and dumped animals for Voodoo Santeria. We found goats and chickens and bones and I'm not even going to get into what else we found. You guys are just going to have to wait and find out. This was really crazy. We were there uh, about a year and a half ago and we actually found kittens that were either dumped there or the mom left them there. So we haven't been there in a while and we decided, well, why don't we go over and check it out? And honestly, it is one of the worst things that I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you guys want to know what the heck Hannah and I found at the abandoned train tracks today, well, guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into that. All right, everyone, Hannah and I have made it to the abandoned train tracks. We're it's here to explore, insane. and we're like, insane. you don't even know what we're trekking through to get to these train tracks right here. It we literally had crazy. to go through all of this thick, old, dead cane grass. This is crazy, it's like, insane. look at us. We're like, you can't even see my boots. And we're having to literally go through all of this stuff right here. We're literally having to just move it out of the way. Wait, we're almost through, wait, and you coming through, Hannah? Yeah. All right, okay. Hannah. <laughs> we made it through and we have now just made it to the abandoned train tracks now this is it and it's actually a lot more clear than the last time we were here if you guys have been watching our channels for a while and you remember this video right here hannah and i actually found abandoned kittens here on the train tracks now we're not sure if someone dumped those kittens or if their mom was actually in the area and she ran off Guys, we have no idea how they got there, but all we know is that there's animals dumped here in this part of South Florida. There's tons of animals that get dumped and abandoned, so that's why we're here. What did they just do to these train tracks, Hannah? They completely cleared this entire thing out. Yeah, they completely decommissioned the train tracks. Yes. So they just cleared this area. Before, this was a jungle, so now they just cleared it all out. So we're able to walk it and explore and see what kind of crazy stuff we can find now. People here in South Florida actually practice a Haitian voodoo called Santeria. So basically, you'll find chickens sacrificed in the road here at the train tracks we found chickens and goats and sometimes they do pigs but it's mainly chickens and goats for whatever reason so we're here today to see what we can find whether we find live animals that were dumped here we found kittens before but what we have to do is we got to explore because these animals could be anywhere guys Literally look at anywhere. the whole train tracks that we have to explore so hannah's gonna go that way and i'm gonna go this way so i think it's time to split up and see what we can find here okay. okay all right all Hannah. Right. you go that way all you right. be safe Sounds good. okay hannah see, see ya hannah what? I think I found something already. What did you find? Guys, do you see what I see right there? That thing right there. Let's see. Yep, this is definitely what I thought. So right here, this may look like a rock, but look what we just found, Hannah. We just found a bone what? from an... Yep, we just found a bone from an animal. So this looks like the, the vertebrae <gasps> of some kind of an animal. This is definitely the vertebrae, oh Hannah. Gosh. But it's a, it's a big vertebrae, so this could either... This might be from a goat, Hannah, oh or gosh, even a dog. It's terrible. It's really terrible. Within five minutes, we've already found some bones, so that is, that's not a good sign, so. All right, Hannah, you gonna continue on? Yeah. All right, I will. All Be right, safe. Bye. bye. Guys, you're not gonna believe what I just found, and it's not what you think. Take a look. There's literally a teddy bear here. I don't even know how it got here. Jacob? Jacob? Yeah? It's a teddy bear. Like, like a teddy bear? Like a child's teddy bear. Really? It's, it's kind of creepy, guys. That thing is scary looking. This thing Very is like, scary. this is so scary. So I don't know if we found some kid's teddy bear, guys. Oh. I'm not even sure how this ended up here because this was a literal jungle. This thing is so hard and crispy, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't even know how long that thing's been here. I don't know. So what I want to look for now is I want to look for some invasive pythons. So right here we have all of this thick and dense sawgrass. And this stuff is built up. I mean, this thing is like a couple feet deep so you can see right here there's all of this loose litter and this just keeps going down literally endlessly pythons will want to actually nest up and coil this stuff makes the perfect python nest so we could maybe even find that 20 foot python we'll have to join them out of here but look this could be like a little python cave in here so we're just kind of looking inside every little crack and crevice we're looking for pythons but we're also looking for their skin and their shed that will give us an indication that they're here so i was just talking about snakes and you guys are not going to believe what I found right here. So Hannah's all the way over there. Hannah! What? 
Come, 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 quick, quick, quick. Look over here, so right here, I was just looking here. And look what I found right here. Did you guys see that right there, right here and there? We just found some snake skin, which means there's snakes in them. This is a pretty large snake shed. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but it looks like it could definitely be from a python. Hannah, you're not gonna believe it. I think there's a python. Look, I just found python skin. I'm pretty sure it's python skin. It's really hard to tell. Oh, where'd it go? It almost dropped it again. Where'd look at this. I'm looking for snakes. Look, 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 look. Stretch it out. Oh. So we're pretty sure. Look, we, oh we my might find gosh. That we might find a 20 foot python today. That's Hannah. insane. Oh my Let's gosh. Look at it. So we just found the snake shed. So why don't you stick with me, Hannah? All right, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to search gonna these keep bushes. All eyes out. Guys, I'm getting excited here. We might actually find a python, which is honestly the last thing I was expecting to find here. But the best thing about South Florida is you never know what you're going to find. Woo, baby! You see that? Where is you it? You see what, what I see right there? Right there. There's a snake in the tree. What? There's a snake, guys. I got the best snake eyes oh. in the game, baby. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. You see it now? It so right here. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, guys, it right here. So well. There's a red rat snake that's right here hanging out. I think he's hunting, honestly. He's probably looking for some lizards. Yeah. This is so cool. So I want to get the right angle to show you guys without scaring him. Look at this. I think it's going to have to be from this way. So guys, right here, this red rat snake oh, is cruising. I know. He's on the move. I think you should catch him, Hannah. You want me to? I think I want you to catch him, but look at him just kind of oh. cruise. This right here is one of my absolute favorite native snakes to find. So to see this guy cruising through the trees right now, it's just an amazing feeling. The reason why they call these rat snakes is because these guys are excellent rodent eaters. So if you find a snake like this at your house, if you live here in Florida, these are one of the best snakes that you can actually have to keep the pests away. So Hannah, I think it's time you do the honors. All right. All right, but you just want to gently pick them up. Wait, wait, uh -huh. wait, wait. One, two, uh three, pick them up. Okay. He's gonna be friendly. You got him. It's coiling up on the leaf. All right, oh. we gotta get him off right there. Look at that. Oh my Let's gosh, see this he's guy. so cute. Look at, this. Look at him. That's amazing. That's so beautiful. So adorable. Look at this native red rat snake. Let's oh see no, it. is Wait. he gonna bite oh, me? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's trying to bite oh, me. Oh, he just tried to strike the camera. All right, come here, little buddy. So again, guys, this is such a beautiful snake, and we're just gonna hang out with him for a minute and let him on his way. And he's gnawing on me. So that little guy was trying to see how I taste it. Now, a lot of people would think that this could possibly be a venomous snake because of his bright colors. This is one of the most harmless snakes you can find. All right, little buddy, it's time to release you. So we're gonna do the honors of releasing this little guy back in the trees. And I'm so thankful that we're able to find these snakes here in these areas because their habitat is being destroyed on a daily basis. So for me, it's always fun to find them. I know Hannah likes it too. So we've had a pretty successful mission yeah. so far. We found snake shed, we found a snake, we found, found a teddy bear, found a we bone. found a bone. So guys, who knows what else we're gonna find. Oh my gosh, yeah. Jacob, do you smell that? Yeah, I smell it. It's oh my, it smells horrible, it smells like something's rotting. It smells like something's rotting. <laughs> yep, it's coming downwind. So we I, I we're approaching the area we found the abandoned cats in the Santeria before. We're almost there and there's oh. trash bags everywhere. Literally I don't know if you everywhere. can see that. And we're smelling the nastiest, most oh. rotten thing that I've ever smelled in my life. I, I don't think I can do it. I don't, I don't know oh. if I can either. So the first thing that we're noticing now that we're here is there's literally oh, mayo nice. bottles. I think these were here last time, honestly. I think so too. It looks like they've been here. So what's really sad is all the trash that people dump. Not only are they dumping trash, but oh my gosh. Do you see that bag? I don't even want to know what's inside. Wait, should we try lifting the bag up? So a lot of times bags like this, you don't find very good things in these bags. Wait, it's open something, a bit. something. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Is that something? Fruit? Something? No, something was chewing oh at the bag. You could see there's all these chew marks on it. Like it, open it. I'm not opening this thing. I don't think I want to open it either. The last time I opened up a bag like this here, there was literally bones inside. Oh my gosh. It was disgusting. Yep. So we're gonna leave this alone. I'm definitely not opening or touching that. I don't really want to know what's inside of that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Guys, is that a leg? There is a goat in that box right oh there. Oh my gosh, it looks so tiny. Oh my gosh. So there's it's definitely some voodoo going on here. I'm not even going to get close to that, but there is a goat inside of that box. That's horrible. And there's a bones right here. There's a bag of bones. Who knows how long this has been here. You could see there's all these bones right here from some kind of an animal. You could see, wait, is that, what is that? There's Jacob. So Hannah. We're literally stepping in like a graveyard. There's bones everywhere. Really? Oh, if they're all look, beneath my feet. You see, there's bone here. Oh my gosh, there's, there's a teeth. Look. Oh my gosh, look at that. So right here, this is definitely looks like it could be some a goat skull. I'm not sh really sure what kind of teeth these are, but it might be a goat. So this? we're finding bones there, everywhere. There's yep. a skull. There's a skull. There's a skull and there's horns. No. Oh my gosh. Look, that <gasps> is insane. So right here. Look at this too. 
There's bones all Everywhere. beneath us. Everywhere. Just so everyone knows, these are bones from animals being dumped here. This is the Santeria Voodoo that we're talking about. This is what people are doing here in South Florida. And something really should be done about it because it's just not right. It's unfair to the animals. So we're here to show you guys and kind of bring awareness to this situation that's going on here in South Florida that I think so most of the world has, yeah, it really smells really bad. Really, really it bad. smells really gross. You can see right here that this is the horns from a goat. So we got some goat horns right Gosh. here. But why don't we step over here and see what else we can find because right. people are dumping trash here. Wait, maybe there's fish inside of here. You think? There could be some fish inside of this cooler. Look, did someone dump? There could be fish. Oh, oh there's I... tadpoles. Oh no, there's I mosquito larvae. So you can see there's little mosquito larvae everywhere inside of here. So who knows what we're gonna find. Again, we gotta watch where we're stepping because we don't know what the heck we're gonna find. Hannah, you keep exploring that All way, right. okay? Okay. All right, so right here there is one white chicken or a turkey and then there's another one here. Now these guys there's are definitely- There's actually a smaller one too, you see that? Oh my gosh, yep, there's it a smaller like a one there. Yep, it looks like a dove. And oh, there's larger bones. There's more bones. That, that is not a chicken nope, bone. That is, that is definitely not a chicken bone. Nope, definitely not. So if you guys oh look right here, gosh. what we're finding right here, there's some more bones. We got the vertebrae right here, as well as the ribs. And then this also looks like it could be oh, a shoulder yeah. blade. This What's, is literally a bag of bones. A bag of bones? Bag. Do I want to look in it? I don't know if you do. I. I you see it? It's yeah. like really dark. It's just black in there. It's like just black. It's, it's like full of bones. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, that well, smells nasty. We are going to have to definitely take a shower here, but this is really honestly, do you think we're going to find anything like, like baby animals here? So right behind us, this is where we found the kittens the last time. So we're just going to kind of take a look and see. Wait, let's see. Do you hear any meows? Wait, let me, let's, let's meow to them. Not hearing anything, but this is, I think this is the same path that we took. It is. So right over here, this is where we found the kittens back in here. It really hasn't changed much, but I'm not hearing any. I found a skull. What? There's a skull back here, yep. Oh my gosh. There's a skull. In the, in the bushes, that's crazy. Yep, there's definitely. All the way back here? Yep, there's a skull right here. Yeah, Guys, what look. What skull is it? I'm not sure, but there's the whole remnants of something here. You can see, see? all of this is the feathers oh of God, something. See you see the skull? I think it's a cat. I think it's from a cat, Hannah. Really? Guys, look oh, right. I'm not God. sure. Guys, look at what we just found right here. So right here, we just found a skull in the bushes. And whatever animal it was, you could see the hair right here on the stick. But right over here, you could see the canines from this. Let's try to flip this. I mean, seriously, you never know what you're going to find here in South Florida. I definitely don't want to touch that. But I think it is a cat, Hannah. Oh, that's That's terrible. really terrible. We just found that. All right, let's get the heck out of here. All right, let's keep going. Let's get the heck out of these bushes. Now, the reason why Hannah and I are so calm around all of this is because we've grown up here in Miami. We've literally grown up seeing this stuff almost every single day. But we just wanted to make a video today to bring awareness to the big problem that we do have here in South Florida with people dumping animals. I mean, this train track, not only are they dumping trash, but the animals and the suffering it's that's terrible. going on it's here. Horrible. It's absolutely terrible, absolutely horrible. I'm not sure what Hannah and I can do to get people to stop doing this, but at least we can bring awareness and make all of you aware of what the heck is going on down here. Look right here. I mean, literally everywhere I look, more feathers. And then look, there's another, Aww. right under here, there's another chicken right under here. Oh look at this, Hannah. Gosh, look at that, feathers. we just, more feathers. So this is definitely a box that had something in it. There's feathers in here, but there's definitely nothing in this box right here. And there's a duck right over there. Guys, this is probably one of the craziest videos that we've ever filmed. We found more voodoo than we've ever found in one place. We haven't been here in a couple years, so to come back, like, what is it, like two years ago we were here? Yeah. A year and a half ago. Guys, something's gotta change, so that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, despite how sad it is. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what adventure you think Hannah and I should go on next, and if you guys are not yet subscribed to either of us, well guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and subscribe below.